Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a brand new product from Synect called the Soundwire. Now, I'm super excited about this. Now, if you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear, no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, if you're like me and you carry around a direct box or a cable for connecting your computer to your soundboard for either playing backing tracks or for playing stingers out of QLab for corporate shows and whatnot, there's a couple different options for connecting your computer to your soundboard. Now, one of the easiest ways to do it is with an eighth inch jack to XLR. Now this basically is something that you can wire up or you can purchase this cable and you just go out of the headphone jack and into two separate line ins on your soundboard. But the problem with this is if you accidentally activate phantom power, you then destroy the sound card on your computer. So I have my MacBook Air here in M2, it's great, great computer. But if I accidentally activated Phantom Power on my console and had this connected, it would fry the sound card on my MacBook Air. And I do not want to do that. Now, the next option is to then use a direct box. Now, direct boxes are great. They are heavy and clunky sometimes, and you have to have a lot of cables. So I have this radial JPC, and this is an active direct box, which does require Phantom Power. Uh, and so I use an eighth inch to eighth inch jack here. So I have this connected into the headphone jack of my computer. It connects right here. And then I have two XLRs that then go to my soundboard. And then I activate phantom power. And that's how I connect my computer. Now, this is a good way of doing things. And this is the industry standard for connecting a computer to a soundboard is using a direct box and getting our audio through to the direct box from our computer to our soundboard. Now, so some computers might not have the best sounding sound card, and so then you are at the mercy of that sound card on that computer. Now, what Synect did is they have a thing called the Soundwire, and I am so excited to open this up. In here, we have a brand new product, and this has a USB-C connection right here, and it goes to two XLRs. Now, what Synect has done is they have put a full digital to analog conversion in this whole setup. So there is a lot of magic that's happening in this thing. And so these are the rest of the things that come with it, is you have a USB-A to C adapter here. So if you have a usb a connection on your computer, you can go ahead and plug this in, and then that then connects to your computer. If you have a USB-C on your computer, which I do, then we just leave it like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this up the rest of the way, and we can check this out. So this cable is very long, as we can see, and it is a beautiful braided cable that I am very excited about. Now, once you've coiled your cable here, they actually have a built-in cable tie on this unit right here. So we can see that I could just go ahead and take this little wrap, wrap it around and put the ball right there. And now this is tied up. Now, the other thing that they have is a very nice carrying case for this. So I can just go ahead and slide this cable in here and then it just locks together with a little magnet, which is fantastic. What I really like about this is on this card, we have our product specs about this. Now, this is 192 kilohertz, 32 bit audio processing on this. So we are taking our audio and putting it out at a very, very high quality. The next thing that's very important about this is it is a flat frequency response between 20 hertz and 22 kilohertz, meaning that all of the audio that you're playing out of your computer through this into your soundboard is completely flat and the way that it was originally recorded and produced out of your computer. The other thing that we have is little transformers inside the ends of the XLRs, which isolate this cable and make it so that if you do happen to turn on phantom power, it is stopped by the isolation transformer. 
And then the other thing about this is that this will remove any ground loops that you have between your device and your soundboard. That's the other key thing that the direct box and the sound wire does, is it isolates that and makes it so that there is no ground loop that can happen because of the isolation transformers. Now the very last thing that I want to mention about this is that there is a beautiful left and right label and it is gold plated with our Neutrik connectors. And so the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and get this connected in on my mixer and then my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the left into one and the right into two. And then because this cable is so long, it will reach all the way over to my computer. Now, the best thing about this is that there's no audio drivers at all that you have to install. You just simply plug it in and it starts working. Now, if you are using a Mac, you will need to go ahead and allow this to connect. So I'm gonna allow this accessory to connect to my Mac. And then the best part about this is that there's no drivers. So you simply just connect it into your computer and it works. So there's nothing that you need to install, you just plug it in. And so if I go up to my headphone adjustment here, we can see that the sound wire is right here. And so I can simply select this and then go play some music. Now, if I was wanting to use QLab with this, I can go open up QLab, go down to my settings, go to my audio, and select my sound wire. And then once I have that set, then we can go ahead and play our stingers and our announcements. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Our program will begin in 10 minutes. Now, then if I wanted to, I could use my same computer with my headphone in my direct box and play my music from either iTunes or Spotify and then use my Synect sound wire with QLab to do all of my stingers and my VOGs. So then I can use my same computer with multiple audio outputs to get all of my audio into my board. Now I just love how small this is and it's a fantastic product that I am so excited to put into my arsenal and start using. Now, if you want to check out more about this product, you can go over to Synect.com. That's S-O-N-N-E-C-T.com and go check this out. Now, I hope this video was helpful for you today. If you do happen to have any questions or there's a video that you're hoping that I would make on some production products that are out there, please post that in the comment section down below as I'm always reading through those comments to find videos that are going to be helpful for you. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my website at DrewBrashler.com. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day.